third day on the canal and today we have a gentle ride of say 50 to 60 kilometers okay I'm not gonna get tricked into giving absolutes like yesterday so um, you know we're going to Skipton Castle today which will be really cool and uh, we're looking forward to the ride and the weather looks glorious and as you can see the hills and dales behind us look really lovely as well and PJ's woken up and she seems pleasant today so they'll make a lovely surprise it's not often the Kraken is in a good humor we're continuing past the castle I'm really looking forward to it this looks like beautiful countryside and it's looking like a great day what could go wrong Okay, this is what confronted us when we got here after 70 kilometers yesterday. You know, like three flights up and we stood the bikes up in that near that conservatory. So it was, and of course, PJ just wandered up there and left me to do all the carrying. What is it, Charlie? They've yarn bombed the uh, crochet the crown on top of the letter box in a half out the front. It's very nice. Okay, we're 10 minutes into our day and we've come about three kilometers and it's just beautiful as you can see the locks, the lock house, the dry stone fences are everywhere and just beautiful green hills like nothing you get in Australia. This is the highest point of the Leeds to Liverpool Canal. The uh, towpath is uh, a wee bit rough in this section. I don't think many people use it. There are areas where the grass has grown across the towpath uh, because of lack of wear and tear, but it's very peaceful. Listen, nothing. Here comes the intrepid Kraken. We got some uh, company on the bike path today. Oh, she almost fell off then. And if you turn round, you can see this double bridge. It looks pretty cool. And you see it's only 38 and a half miles to Liverpool. To, no, to Leeds, sorry. Apparently, Bridge 164 is a big deal, other than the fact it's absolutely beautiful here. I really don't know why. So if anyone can tell us, that would be fantastic. Heaven just knows what it was. Will I go 
back to the place where I belong. Oh, oh sorry. You guys want to go? No, no you please you go. go first. Oh, Bella looks like a lovely dog. <laughs> She's ready to get in that walk, isn't she, ma'am? Are you guys yeah. swimming? Yeah. Hey! Hey! Bye bye! Thank you! Dog wardens are training. <laughs> Here comes the intrepid Kraken. I'm going to have to open the gate for her. They have these styes as well. Thank you, Charlie. You just keep going and I'll catch you. Okay. So off she goes. Once more unto the breach. That's the castle. There's Charlie. I don't think he's going up there. Google Maps says that we go up there. Or oh, we're here. But it's up there. So I hate you, Google. There is the Kraken. She's rooting around in there trying to find something to hit me with. And we're in skip. We're in Skipton and there's Skipton Castle up there and right next door is the church with the beautiful yard and then the high street. I think uh, Skipton's a bit of a tourist town. The traffic is off the charts. You know, and there's a lot of walkers and everything. Anyway, it's very pretty. See your opinions talking big like somebody's listening. The 
nobody's listening. It's so fun and games and till it doesn't toss me out. I'll hit the ignition. Now you listen. Hop up up in the window. Smaller and smaller you fade out. Okay, this is mainly for my children, or young people, I should say. The mile markers are actually in miles. The British, I don't know why, they use miles still. And also when these canals were built, it was definitely in miles. And miles are 1.6 kilometers. So 1.6 kilometers, yeah, roughly. God knows why they keep it. They also do pounds, which is, again is a weird, why you would not just fully take up the metric systems beyond me. Okay, um, what else? We're having a great time. It's really lovely. We're right in front of a swing bridge and we're just watching a, a lady get a workout by opening and closing the swing bridge. Well, her husband steers past. I think it's a good division of labor. I don't think PJ could do it. Like this lady's a big lady and she's struggling. We're gonna try it one day. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be very funny. She looks like a very strong woman, she's cool. Yeah, I think PJ would be uh, not much use. It's nice weather, it's really good. And the path unfortunately is full of tree roots. Right. And g'day. The paths either really good or really, really terrible. And yeah. yeah, terrible to the point you think, how the bikes aren't falling to pieces is beyond <laughs> me because my ass is just destroyed, mm. you know. So anyway, it's an adrenaline rush. Like you're holding on for grim death. Like sometimes the bike's just going. trees come at you. Some sometimes you're just going where the bike's going to go. That's the sound of a car going over the swing bridge. And also, you know, poor swing bridge. I've got scrapes on my face from the brambles, and also one reached out and broke my glasses as well. Yeah, <laughs> ripped his glasses. Oh well, all good. Okay. Shall we? I was having a short day. Sure, love. You're filming me. You're an ass. <laughs> <She's> an ass. <laughs> Well, we've arrived safe and secure in our salubrious accommodations right next to the canal. It's right there. I can see the towpath, I can see the riding, I can see uh, canal boats. I wish I was on a canal boat, but we're in a hotel right next to the canal, which is almost as good. 
So anyway, today was really good. It was only like 50K. We stopped at several places on the way, like this bespoke furniture maker. And it was really cool. It was called The Secret Drawer. And the lady took us right around like we were going to buy something. And she knew we weren't, but she was just really lovely. And then we met um, a guy from the volunteer is that look after the canal. And he took us all through the history of the canals, gave us a book, uh, like a Lonely Planet book about the canals, and also gave us a sheet. And we made a donation to the Canal Trust because it is pretty good. Today, the about half the track was like just abysmal abysmal you know like my poor ass may never recover and it's really weird like you know like the the path will be absolutely abysmal like you know just barely barely rideable there's a small fear of life you know and then it'll be perfect you know and what we think it is after we talk to the people at the the volunteers at the trust is they're selling the rights to lay fiber optic cable next to the the on the towpaths and when they do that they make the towpath nice and new so they've only sold about 200 miles 200 well, i don't know exactly but 200 miles across the whole network but they're the bits that are just lovely so tomorrow supposedly there's five kilometers of just lovely and tomorrow's gonna be a very short day so we're almost it's like 10 miles until we get to leeds um it's surprising that we just didn't ride through but you know, it's lovely and it's been a good day and even PJ's been bearable, you know, um, although she did get us lost a couple of times. Anyway, um, hopefully tomorrow will be even better.